Okay. We want to have a brief interview with you. We know that no MP has been able to win more than two terms in this constituency. How confident are you that you're winning this time around? I'm very confident. I'm sure you've seen, you've seen the response around it. I mean, yes, it hasn't happened this far, but it doesn't mean it's not possible. It's very, very possible. Um, until I won the 2019 primaries, um, in our party in this we had never repeated the candidate twice before. But thankfully, in 2019, I won the primaries and then I became the first NDC parliamentary candidate to get re elected again. This year, I'm very confident one more time. I've spoken to the delegates, they've told me that Ramadan, we need to break that one template. So I'm sure by the close of the day, with the help of God, Ramadan we will be the victor so that we will go on NDC for the first time without this member of parliament go and put her to subsequent election. And I'm sure if you speak to people, everybody says that. This is the head of it. Once we call the primaries, 2024 is a given. Peter's kid on the block. Do you think she is your biggest contender? We're in an election. I'm focusing on, on winning. And um, that's what I'm sure I will do. So, I mean, it doesn't matter who is supposed to be the picture. I, I still think that we, we is a, a stronger candidate than Linda. Okay. Yes, I, I think so. But all in all, I'm very sure that by 5, 6 o'clock, We'll be giving glory to God. So, meaning, oh, yeah, will be your biggest contender then? I mean, yeah, I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure. I mean, Linda has potential, but she's just came in. Okay. She's young, she's growing up, so we'll see you. So, would you say she should go and sit at home and think about herself rather than rock shoulders with the elderly? Oh, no, no, I mean, there's no harm in trying. There's no harm in trying. It's a good attempt. Okay. I mean, but she should look into the future. Not now. Not now. There's an issue about the fact that you've not really went. I expect them to go out there and say, Ramadan, I've done a lot, but let's change it. Of course, what they need to say is to say Ramadan hasn't done anything to do that he can be kicked out. So, after that one, it's political talk. So if you're on the ground, you would appreciate what people are saying. Ramadan has been selfless, Ramadan has sacrificed a lot, given the circumstances where his party is even not in power, but of course, Ramadan has done it. Why do people think, if Ramadan has not delivered, why do people think that this is the head of, once Ramadan wins the primary, the general election is a given. If if he hasn't performed, then the general election should rather be the problem. But everybody believes that this is the head of, once Ramadan crosses this head of, he's going to deliver the necessity one more time.